I just want to. I just want to go home. You know, my guys want to go home. It's frustrating when you can't move forward and you're not making money. Stuck at dock with engine repairs for the past 10 days. Captain Jake Anderson's king season is still on hold. We got another 30 or 40,000, I think. It's hard on everybody. Everybody's getting fed up, you know, it's time to go fishing. That's my favorite one. I was on my phone doing business and he calls up to get my attention. Doesn't even seem like I really have a son and a family anymore. I've been gone so long. The delay in port not only costs thousands of dollars a day, it also takes a toll on the boat's morale. People think we like being cold and we like being tired and we like being hungry. We're just normal people. We don't like any of that stuff. We just like to be home with our families and we can't. It's the hardest thing about this job is you're away from your family. The fuel pressure gauges, they all work. In the engine room. Just can't get it to seem to work right. I don't know what else to do. Nothing but bad news. I just put that thing back together. We gotta have somebody come and look at it, or we're gonna replace it. Get it! That separator is not separating the water from the fuel. It ain't doing its job, you know? And then when we poured water in the it should have just been, it should immediately separate that water from that fuel. And it's just going like this, dude. Drip, drip, drip. No. Oh, me. We don't have a working centrifuge. The centrifuge is a crucial piece that keeps water from contaminating the fuel. The engines will die and we will Jake has a ton on this play there. He's freaking out. I don't blame my you know. I'm not going out on this boat without my paper. Period. It just isn't working properly, and that's not good because the fuel uh, filters can get clogged up, and then before you know it, our generators and our mains can just shut down. A critical part that prevents water from contaminating the fuel has failed. We might as well just get jobs working at the dock, because that's what we're doing. Now, with his remaining king crab season on the line, Jake must find a solution. I fished for 11 days. I've been here for two months or risk losing everything he's worked for. I got a, I got a plan for the fuel. We're just gonna buy every filter that is in Dutch Harbor, and we're just gonna change them out all the time. You need to go get a case of Filters. Change them every three hours. Watch the gauges. If it drops at all, yeah. we change it. The fuel separator is now being replaced by cases and cases upon cases of fuel filters. It's gonna cost a lot of money, but it's the price you pay to stay alive. It's got some extra fuel filters here. Go ahead and rip them off. Coming up. Kenny, you gonna be all right? You want, I can screw it in if you want. Oh, that's dangerous. Go. 
we're on our way again. Thank the good Lord. Hallelujah. It's hard to get excited over these numbers. It's been 18 days, and this could just end up being a bunch of blanks. There's riders. That's got to be more than 30. 60, 60, 60. Is Oli down there? Who's that new guy with the with the nice pants on? For the first time in 30 and years. Never again, huh? Veteran engineer. <laughs> Oli Helgevold heads out on deck. I think Oli's got to be about 64. Oh, holy, f dude. Stay out here, you're good luck. Hell yeah. 66, 66. Alright. Oh hopefully this keeps up. We'll have all all the crap we need in our gear. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. It could be a short trip. Could be a day. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, hey. I'm on my game. I'm ready to get this crab on and get the f home. I miss my wife. I miss my son, Aiden. I missed his first steps. You know, and that's the life of a fisherman. It's just, you know, you can make all the money in the, you want in the world, but it, you can never replace that time to to my son. Never get it back.